Mark of the best on his retirement. Here's the junior trendsetter final for three-year-olds. JJ's Gazette, a huge try in round two for Yannick Gingra. 4-1-1 looks for the series sweep for Chris Ryder. John Campbell co-owns number nine strong player who stuck outside. And Gryffindor, very impressive in round two winning. The Rob Mega Hall pushed the gate away there. Mega Hall from the outside. Robin of Loxley on the far outside. Gryffindor now on the inside. Janice Joyce steps out there alertly. And uh, JJ's Gazette cuts the corner from the rail into the first turn. Janice Joyce right to the top here. Has a, a Sears has a handful with that one. Janice Joyce by two and a half length. JJ's Gazette is second. Western sequel got away third. Robin of Loxley is fourth. Mega Hall is fifth. 411 is sixth past the quarter. Strong player is seventh. Then near the back, it's I know you're looking. And Gryffindor is ninth, and Joe Paw's Shark hot quarter 26 and four. Sears looking to settle down. Jenna's Choice, Jenna's Choice by two legs down the backside. JJ's Gazette in the second spot. Western Sequel drafting in third. Then there's a break of four and a half lengths to Robin of Loxley. For, uh, Robin of Loxley off stride. So around that breaker goes Mega Hall circling around the breaker 4-1-1. Then Joe Paw's Shark followed by Strong Player. Uh, I know you're looking, and uh, Gryffindor after the break. Uh, Robin of Loxley the half. 54 and 4. And they race to the far turn. And it's Jenna's Choice after the 28 second breather. Jenna's Choice leads it and looks to go all the way with Sears. JJ's Gazette, a perfect pocket steer here with Jingra. Off the cones comes Western Sequel, taking a first over shot with Pierce there as 4 1 1 picks up his late cover. Second over now, fourth. Locked in his Mega Hall in the fifth position. Joe Paz Shark will need to shake loose from sixth. All at a strong player from seven three quarters. 123 and 2 into the stretch drive. It's Jenna's choice by two lengths now out of the pocket. Here comes Jingra with JJ's Gazette. Has dead aim now on Jenna's choice who braces for JJ's Gazette. Late bid. 4 1 1 in the battle for show with Mega Hall. Down at least two. Jenna's choice on the inside. JJ's Gazette is trying to get to him. JJ's Gazette on the outside. Oh, Jenna's choice on the inside. Might have held on. JJ's Gazette on the outside in the photo here in the junior trend center. 152. A stakes mark. Back to back for Silva. Sears controls the front end similar to his race two back. He broke before the start last out as the favorite, which helped the price big time here. And I'm a little surprised that there wasn't more pressure on the front end horses early on, and that helped the top finishers big time. Well, Jenna's choice certainly benefited from the break of Robin of Loxley, which forced many of the trailers to check a bit. Co-owner Cliff Paddock took center stage in the winner's circle. We're here in the junior tread center final winner's circle. Jenna's choice has the mini upset, and uh, Jenna's choice was not to be here, a little acting up, but uh, Cliff Paddock is here. Cliff, tell us a little bit, how did you wind up getting Jenna's Choice? Well, Mark had a connection in uh, Chicago, uh, the person that called him and said that he really thought the horse would do well here at the Meadowlands, a uh, two-year-old, kind of green and uh, just learning, even still, even tonight, just learning. But, uh, you know, Mark uh, saw the horse and liked him, and we brought him here to New York, New I Jersey, excuse me. <laughs> I, see, I see last week made a break at the start. Do we know what happened there? Yeah, well, Brian Sears said that he just didn't score him down quick enough. And, um, you know, he thought that it was his fault, really, that the horse just wasn't ready to go when the gates open. Um, so he said that, you know, tonight he was going to score him a little quicker during the warm-ups, get him ready to go when the gate opened up. And I guess he was ready to go tonight. He went right to the top, really. Recent Lasix addition might help, too. Yes, definitely. Uh, Mark, Mark added Lasix, and it seemed to pick up his game a little bit also. And uh, Mark Silver's been hot. How'd you wind up getting together with Mark? Uh, a few years ago, when I was interested in getting into the owner's, owner's part of, of the business, I, uh, I, I was take, took a little survey and uh, narrowed it down to two or three trainers. I met with Mark, who was really the first one I met with, and our philosophies just really clicked. We sat together for three hours here at the Meadowlands Diner, actually, and uh, we hooked up, and I, you know, we've, we've, had, uh, we've had a lot of fun since then. This is, a, this is I think, our best horse, though, uh, Jenna's Choice, our best shot here. Where, where does Jenna's Choice go from here, do we know? Uh, he's going to the Matt Scooter. Um, the Suslo, uh, we have him staked also to the uh, Berries Creek and uh, Kentucky Sires. And uh, we'll hope for good luck like we had tonight. Okay, congratulations to all the connections. Junior Trent said a Janice Choice has done it. Wire